Okay, this is a uh, Chablin or ESO uh, Model 100, uh, small centerless grinder. Uh, there is a spec sheet on this on our website. I am not exactly sure of the diameters or dimensions of the wheels, but they are small. Uh, each, this is the dresser for the regulating, the regulating wheel and this for the grinding wheel. Uh, this is the in-feed slide. Your in-feed comes, uh, or your setup in-feed comes from here, and then you, your grinding is done through the motion. The stroke here, this full stroke here, gives the full movement, your full in-feed movement. And that's adjustable, and you can set and change that for your in-feed. When we turn this on in the manual, in the automatic mode, there is a, a continuous cycle where this will continue to go around on a cam, and this will close down, it'll stay there for a second or two, and then it will open up again, giving the operator time to load another part. The dressers, uh, when I run them, are controlled by these, uh, like, speedometer cables. There's a separate motor for this down below, and when you want to dress your grinding wheel, you stick it into this, uh, uh, I can't think of what you call this, this uh, hole here, uh, and you can either do your regulating wheel or your, your grinding wheel. So let's go ahead and start this up. This is uh, some stuff wrote on here because you have to really pay attention. We're going to start the spindle and the regulating wheel. Now the regulating wheel is a variable speed uh, control. You can go from very slow to very fast for dressing. Uh, you also have an automatic in-feed, which you'll see now that this lever is doing the cycle on its own. There's a motor and a cam underneath it that operate that, and it'll get, it'll get all the way down to open up, and then it'll it'll feed again. Now the amount that it feeds in, in the automatic cycle is, is adjustable by the cam and by some, some other settings on it. But that'll continue to do that. This dresser over here, if we wanted to show that dresser working, you'd want to make sure that you had this selector switch uh, pointed at the diamond. And this, once I switch this over to the diamond, I will no longer have my automatic cycle here. That, that automatically cuts that out. So if I want to move this diamond, I can go forward or reverse with the center switch, and then you have to hold this. And if you come here, you'll see the diamond going across the wheel. In this case, this is a diamond wheel, and we wouldn't really want to dress it. And then when you want to reverse it, you reverse your switch, and you go back. And when you're done with that, if you need to dress your regulating wheel, this comes out of here and pops down inside of there. And you come across your stone wheel. And that's where when you can turn your RPM up for a good dress, it won't go all the way, but now we'll go back. That's pretty much the whole story.